Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming another quick swatch party video. I wanted to do this for you guys because I really love this collection and I picked up a few things from the festival collection that came out with ColourPop. I did skip out on the lip glosses, the juicy, so juicy lip glosses. I do have one lip gloss from that line and it's nice but it's not my favorite. I know a lot of people really love that stuff. I was so attracted to the eyeliners they came out with and they are repackaging their eyeliners eyeliners so now their eyeliners are going to be the exact color whereas this is the old packaging and I have the white shade. I just bought this and the set from the festival collection came with another one so I might include that in a giveaway but I just wanted to swatch these for you guys so here is the bright pink neon shade. I wanted you guys to see these on tan skin so when ColourPop was a much smaller brand and they first launched their eyeliners they I bought like most of the shades and honestly they were horrible formula every one I opened they're so like the packaging is so tough that literally like my eyeliners were flying across the room and my husband was like oh my gosh you need to return those and I just didn't want to get into it with the company so a lot of them I just ended up throwing out but I decided to give them another shot because they have so many beautiful shades and then when I saw the neons of course I like died so I did buy the set and this is the shade Insomniac and I have used I think all of these on my eyes but I'm so careful with these because I just know they're so susceptible to breaking so I just caution you guys to be very careful when you open these so that the eyeliners don't break on you and then this shade oh see I just broke that whole thing so you have to be very careful you just want to get a little bit and this one's like really dry this green one I can't believe I broke so much of it off. Jeez Louise. And this is the shade Electric Daisy. The orange shade is called uh, nts, <laughs> like nts, nts. Look at how much of the green one I just broke off. Do you guys see that in my hand? That's like a good two dollars worth of the product. Such a bummer. But so beautiful. And then the yellow. This one is called CRSSD. I don't know what that means. And this is Exit, which is their all white shade. So that's what they swatch like on tan skin. Do they really pop on my skin tone in the waterline? I think they're okay for the price they're at. I really wish somebody would make like creamy, cool shades of eyeliner. I did see Glossier came out with a brand. I think it was called Play or something. And they have a collection of eyeliners but I don't want to place an order because I don't really have any extra money right now in my makeup budget to buy more eyeliners but I think when I get paid next month I will buy some of those so we'll see how that goes and then I'm gonna swatch the eyeshadows so let's swatch the pressed pigments first and I'm actually wearing one of these in my waterline Actually, I even tried the neon shade, and I think I just watched Hot Mess Ness's swatch party on these, and she said she felt like the green swatched better on a white base, and yeah, I mean, look at this green. There's like hardly any pigmentation on that one, so it's kind of a bummer. I wish there was a way to make this brighter, um, the green, so that it would really pop on my skin, but... It is what it is. Okay, and then I'm gonna swatch the glitters on my hand right here, and I'm gonna put all the names of the um, of the glitters and the shadows on. Oh gosh, these are so crumbly sometimes. It's like I forget and I like dig into them and then they break. But yeah, I will put the names of the shimmers or the pressed glitters on the screen so you guys know which ones these are. But these are so pretty and fun. I wouldn't recommend putting them on your eyelids without a glitter glue. They do flake. I actually put a bit on 
this eye look because I'm wearing the ColourPop Photosynthesis Jelly Mud Shadow. And I put some of the yellow on, but it literally fell. Here are the last four. So these are fun. I think they're really, really fun. I think that if you love to add a little exciting sparkle to your makeup or some fun pops of color, this is the collection for you. The price point was a little crazy. I ended up spending like 60 bucks on all of this, which is not usually like ColourPop, but I swear sometimes it's like, you know a new collection's coming out and you get into like a trance and then you're, before you know it, you're spending 60 bucks on the website and using Afterpay, which by the way is a lifesaver in my opinion because I'd rather pay it off in little chunks than buy, like just have all the money leave my bank account at once. So anyway, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little swatch party video and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one soon. Bye!